Glanzer and Kunitz, 1966. Aim to prove the existence of two distinct storage mechanisms in the process of human memory that are responsible for the serial position curve and free recall. Method. Researchers gathered 240 enlisted army men and assigned them to two conditions. They were given a list of 20 words, consisting of common one-syllable nouns, presented one at a time. Immediately after hearing the words, they were instructed to complete a free recall task for two minutes. The results of their trials clearly demonstrated the serial position curve in reference to both of its aspects, primacy and recency. Primacy suggests that the first few words in a list will be remembered with the greatest accuracy due to the transferal to their STM, and recency suggests that the terms at the end of a list will be remembered better than those in the middle due to their freshness of still retaining in the STM, and they can be rehearsed to, be, to improve familiarity. The number of repetitions per word were not observed to make a difference. A second experiment was also conducted where researchers introduced a delay task, continue counting backwards from 20, from 30. Just after the list was finished and recall began, the filler task was meant to prevent rehearsal and results showed that it eliminated the recency effect, but the primacy effect stayed. This means constant distraction prevented the rehearsal of the last terms, which resulted in them being lost in the STM. Conclusion. Primacy occurs because the first few words are remembered and rehearsed and they are transferred to the LTM. Recency occurs because these words in the STM, the words remain in the STM when people start recall. When the rehearsal is prevented, the ability to recall decreases. This supports the multi-store model of memory because it demonstrates the existence of two distinct stores of memory, long-term and short-term memory, and that certain actions can affect the transferal of memory between these two stores.